Thank you, Horace. I'm going to need Hawks to win, too. So, my name is Jim Gibbons, and I'm running for Congress. Now, some of you may know me from my, the previous hats that I've worn. I've been a champion wrestler and a championship coach. I've been a commentator on Iowa Public Television. I've been a 17-year financial advisor. And I understand that we need to get back to fiscal responsibility. I know what it takes to compete and win. I've represented Iowa all my life. I know what Iowa is about. I have a farm operations degree from Iowa State University. I'm very proud of. I know the land. I've worked the land. I know what Iowa's always going to be about. It's always going to be about feeding people. I'm deeply concerned about the direction this country is headed. And that's why I've stepped up. Who among you in this crowd has not taken a phone call from somebody who used to live in state, that's now outside of the state, that says, what's going on in Iowa? Gay marriage, leftist leadership, Chet Culver, Tom Harkin, Lobsack, Braley, and now Leonard Boswell have all shifted us deeply to the left. And I'm concerned about the direction Leonard Boswell has taken us. We're a center-right state, a state that I've been proud to be a part of the 51 years I've been alive. We, we, you wouldn't know it the way he's voted. He's done a better job of representing Nancy Pelosi's district in San Francisco than he has people here in the state of Iowa. And I'm tired of the wealth transfers that benefit other states and other parts of the world. I'm tired of the social justice programs that look a lot more like coveting somebody else's wealth. I'm tired of hearing about the type of jobs that are going up or what type of jobs? Government jobs. We need somebody in Washington who's going to fight for Iowa, fight for Iowa jobs by limiting the size of this government. This race won't be easy. Leonard Boss won't be well funded. $26 million in the DCCC, $4 million in the RNC. It's going to take hard work to win this election. But my heart is not made for the calm. I'm a competitor. I love to compete. I want to take out the champion. That's always been my will. And I will do that in November. I'm going to make a little introduction here. Right? My two daughters are here with the signs they're standing up. They're part of that crowd that you saw with the the t-shirts, they're getting used to public service, which was uh, uh, with the other volunteers that we have here today, helping you with lunch. Let's give them a little uh, round of applause here too. <laughs> My wife of 21 years, Annie, sends her regards. We have a, a new uh, eight-month-old baby. At the age of 50 and 46, we conceived our third child. Nobody has to tell me what life begins. <laughs> As you look at our volunteers here, and I'm going to invite you to a little party we're having out at Harris Park here, uh, weather permitting, and uh, I'm sure that we'll have a nice group out there. But if you look around this group right here, you see people who've never been a part of this process. They're new. They're young people. They've got those burn the boat shirts on. People ask, what's that about? Let me give you the explanation. In the 1500s, the uh, conqueror, Cortez, was going up against the Aztec army. He decided that to motivate his people get them fired up about the job that they had to do. They were outnumbered vastly. He made the decision, burn the boats. If we're successful, we'll go home in their boats. That's the attitude of this campaign. That's what I'm about. I'm totally committed to beating Leonard Boswell. I have the resources, the will, the determination to beat him in November. I'm asking you to join me in this fight. We will win in November. I'm burning my boats and I'm attacking the island. Thank you and God bless.